hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is vivian and you're welcome to today's video so in today's video i'm going to be making a custom circle dress so first thing first i'm going ahead i'm going to be going ahead to drape the bodice on this mannequin so i do not have a draping tape so right here i went ahead and used whatever tape i have in my house <laughs> to mark her measurements on the mannequin so one of these days i'll place an order for a um, um, draping tape but for now this is what i have this is what i'm working with so first thing first i uh, use the tape to mark to kind of marked out her measurements on the mannequin so right here i'm going ahead to use a water removable pen to draw in the the seam line which is the the measurement so next i'm going to take this out of the mannequin and use my ruler to straighten up the line and place it back on the mannequin so i went ahead and drape the back off camera so here you go so now that i have half of the bodice half of the front and half of the back of the bodice i'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it out on the fabric so when cutting the fabric you want two of each okay so for the front you need since we drape half of the front so you're going to be cutting two of the front piece and two of the back about this piece and if you're going to be using a lining you also need to go ahead and cut out your lining my table is not big enough to cut out the circle skirt so i'm going to be cutting it out on my floor and uh, right here i went ahead and fold the fabric over to the length I want for the skirt plus the waist measurement. So right here, I'm going ahead to mark the measurement. I'm going to mark it all the way across to create the circle shape. So using the measuring tape, I place it right at the starting of the folded part, and I'm going ahead to mark the measurement. So right here, I'm going ahead to draw in the line, the circle shape. So once you draw in your waistline at the top, you want to take your measuring tape and measure it to make sure you have your waist measurement plus your seam allowance. So I forgot to add the seam allowance to it. So right now I'm going back in to re-mark uh, the waist allowance plus waist allowance <laughs> i'm going ahead to draw in a new line for the waistline plus the seam allowance so after once you have your measurement your waist measurement marked out on the fabric plus your seam allowance you can go ahead and cut out your circle skirt so to cut the back of the skirt i'm going to be folding this fabric right here into four and i'm going to be using the front skirt to cut at the back skirt so for the back the zipper is going to be at the back so when cutting it out you want to make sure to add your zip allowance to the center back of the skirt so right here I have both fabrics for the back piece so here is the uh, the skirt on the mannequin so moving on to the next step, I already went ahead and pinned the lining to the mannequin. So I'm going to be using that as a guide to drape the pleated, part, pleated side of the front. So after pinning the fabric to the lining, I went ahead and cut out the excess fabric from the side and also at the shoulder. So right here, I'm going ahead to use a pin to pin the main fabric to the lining to mark out the 
part where I need to cut. So next, you need to take your fabric marker and mark the pleated point and the center front. So I left a little bit hanging. I didn't actually measure it. I don't know if I did. I can remember, but just a little bit of fabric hanging over the front. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to be putting it together. I'm going to be working with the back um, piece first. I'm going to be pinning the back bodice to the skirt. So you want to make sure everything is lined up correctly. So I took that to my sewing machine and sew it together using a straight stitch. So moving on to the front. So for the pleated side of the, of the front, I'm going to be adding lining to the bottom part of it. So to help knit up the, uh, the, the fabric. So I just pin it together. So now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sew it together using a straight stitch, which I actually went ahead and did off camera. So here it is. I'm going to be turning it inside out right there. So next, I'm going to be doing a blind stitch on this part. I'm going to fold it over and do a blind stitch to secure it to the main fabric. So next, I'm going to be adding the lining to the front. And right here, I'm going to have to place it, place the lining on top, making sure that the right sides are facing. So moving on, I'm going to be pinning the pleated side of the bodice to the skirt first since I have that pad that is going to be hanging over the uh, the front. So right here, I'm going ahead to match the, the, uh, the center front of the bodice to the center front of the skirt, as you can see right here, making sure to push the rest of the fabric, which is going to be hanging out of the way. You don't want to stitch into that. So just pin it to where the lining stop. So right there, this is the uh, the pleated side. So you can see right there with the hanging part out of the way. And the lining right there. So now I'm going to take the second piece and uh, pin it to the skirt. Doing the same thing, I'm going to mash it at the side. Pin it in place. So next, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> So next, I'm going to make sure that the center front are matching and I'm going to pin it in place. So before removing the pin on the other one, I'm going to first of all secure this one in place first before going ahead to remove the pin from the back, as you can see right here. So now that that is done, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and sew it using a straight stitch. So moving on to the back of the dress, I already went ahead and attached the lining to the back neck line and also added the zipper off camera. So next, I'm going to be uh, joining the front shoulder and the back shoulder point together, making sure that the right side of the front is facing the right side of the back
so the uh, the shoulder point together off camera and uh, next it's time to sew the sides together so i'm not going to be adding lining to the bottom part of the dress so i only added the lining to the uh, top part of it so right here i'm going ahead to join the uh, the sides together the front and the back So at the waist point, you want to make sure that the waistline is matching up with the with the waistline for the back. You don't want like a crooked uh, point. So you want to make sure it's aligned properly. So once that is done, I took it to the sewing machine. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> so I went ahead and pinned the sleeve together. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sew everything, the, the side of the dress and the sleeves I believe I also want to attach the sleeve to the dress off camera. Okay, so now that that is done, the next part now is to finish up the front part of the dress. So when making your pleat at the beginning, you want to make sure to mark okay mark the points where you're supposed to join the pleats together where you're supposed to pleat them in place you want to make sure to mark it so that way when it's time to finish up the garment you will know exactly where to place the pleat the direction and how right here i'm going ahead to use the pin to pin the pleats in place so the next step i'm going to be hand stitching the pleats in place to secure the pleats in place i'm going to be joining it at the waistline a little bit upward just to properly secure it uh, secure them in place like i said i'm going to be hand sewing the pleats in place using uh, a hidden stitch is it that what it's called i think it's a hidden stitch so i'm going to be sewing it down in a way that the thread won't show on the right side of the dress and also i'm using a, a thread that is you know exact same color with the fabric so that make it super easy we're gonna call it a hidden stitch i think that's what it's called so next i went ahead and finished up the bottom part of the dress using a bias tape and here is the final results right here beautiful so here's how the dress is looking on the model <laughs> beautiful <laughs> yeah this is the final result right here thank you all so much for watching if you're new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a big thumbs up all right thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in my next one